Today is Shalom. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Ha Raka Kudash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth. Also, want to acknowledge all the Akiam who are pushing this truth with sincerity. All right. So, um, Spirit has me in Psalms 80. Verse 1 Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, thou that leadest Joseph like a flock, thou that dwellest between the cherubims, shine forth. So, this is talking about the elect because the elect are the ones who lead us, we lead Joseph like a flock, and uh, dwellest between the cherubims. A cherubim is an angel. Let's look it up. Oops. See, cherubim angel. And that's not a real cherubim, but when you type in cherubim, you get these Edomite angels who are who are false and it's a blasphemy. These these are not angels. There is no such thing as an Edomite angel. Well, you know what? I take that back. There is a left-hand side. They're the angels from the left-hand side. The wicked angels. Death angels. But this is not the uh, <coughs> cherubim angels that it's referring to in uh, Psalms 80 and 1. Let me, let me see. Before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, Stir up thy strength, come and save us. Turn us again, O Yahweh, and cause thy face to shine, and we shall be saved. So this is dealing with Israel. Once again, we every everything we bring out of this Bible is it pertains to Israel, right? Anybody who tells you that every single nation can have salvation, can repent, you know, they're they're not telling you the truth. They're telling you the lies that they've been taught themselves. All right. Verse 4. O Yahweh of hosts, how long wilt thou be angry against the prayer of thy people? So you see, uh, um, it's always talking about thy people. Thy people is Israel. Yahweh, how long will your anger be against our prayers? Because you have to remember, we're in captivity as punishment, all right? This is the last captivity, the seventh American Babylon captivity, all right? Seven symbolic for complete, okay? So this is our last captivity. But you see, King David is asking, hey, how long are you going to be angry with us? Verse 5. Thou feedest them with bread, with the bread of tears, and give them and givest them the tears to drink in great measure. Just dealing with the oppression uh, of the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, our people are in tears because you know our kids are getting shot in the street, our kids are getting beat up in the street. You know, by the police, by the government officials. You know these. It's just oppression. We're under the curses. This is what it is. Verse 6. Thou make us, makest us strife unto our neighbors, and our enemies laugh among themselves. Yeah, because, you know, these, these, uh, e these heathen, these Edomites, you know, behind closed doors, yeah, right now they have the Black Lives Matter stickers, and they're out there doing the protests, and, you know... You see the bumper stickers on their cars, you know. It's always the Edomites who, who, are ha who have that. But you see, behind the closed doors, they're still laughing. You know, you have a lot of Edomites who are laughing at that whole Black Lives Matter movement, you know. And that's why they're so against it when these players in the NFL, they, they want to kneel down during their, uh, you know, their flag ceremony, their flag ritual. So... You know, those people are laughing at the strife of the Israelite. 
And let's look up that word strife just to get a deeper understanding. Angry or bitter disagreement over fundamental issues, conflict. You see? Thou makest a strife unto our neighbors. Bitter disagreement over fundamental issues, conflict. You see, so and these these devils, what they've done with this COVID-19 is they've uh, they've literally put you at, as the uh, the enemy number one in the COVID, you know, saying, hey, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you guys are the most infected. You know, you guys are the ones carrying this uh, disease the most. And so look at the, I looked up this guy right here. Tom Tillis, he's a politician, and let's, let's look it up. This guy right here, this devil right here. Tom Tillis, he's a uh, North Carolina senator, right? So anyway, <clears throat> let's go to the news. And here's the article right here. It was a month ago, but <clears throat> it, let's go and read the article. It says, GOP senator criticized for suggesting Hispanics less likely to wear masks and social distance. So this devil here is, he's pinning the blame on the Hispanics, the so-called Hispanics, you know, who are Israelites, you see? He's saying, hey, these Hispanics aren't wearing masks enough. They're not being consistent. Blame, he's pointing the finger that our people are going to infect society, right? The so-called Hispanic. But he's just a devil, you know? This is, let's go back to that verse. Let's see, where was I? Verse six, thou makest makest us a strife unto our neighbors and our enemies laugh among themselves. See? And we, we read that word strife. I lost it on the, I had it. Let's go back to it. Strife, angry or bitter disagreement over fundamental issues, conflict. See, this is bitter and angry this is that strife they have against us, man. Telling you that, you you know, as a as a whole um, as a whole race of people, saying, "Hey, you y'all don't wear enough masks." It's that strife that he's dealing with towards the, in this case, the so-called Hispanics. Okay, verse uh, eight: Thou hast bought a vine out of Egypt. That has cast out the heathen and planted it. See, Yahweh is still merciful to Israel, even though we're going to go through a lot of bullshit here in captivity in America, Babylon. See? Let's see. Psalm 44, 2. How thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand and planted them. How thou didst afflict the people and cast them out. So that's just a precept. Oh yeah, let's go to Jeremiah 2.21. Yeah, I had planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into a degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? See? And I went into that word last week, degenerate. It means that you're on the decline. It means you're, uh, you're, not, you're not what you used to be. You see? And, and uh, that's what Israel is. They're not what they used to be because now they think they're so-called Negroes, Blacks, so-called Hispanics, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans. They're, those are all degenerate names. You, you know, you, you, you're not what you used to be. You used to be an Israelite. You used to know you were an Israelite. But because of all the captivity and all the madness Yahweh has put you through, now you are, you're in the dark. You're, right? you're not in the know anymore. You don't know who you are. You know, we got to go out there and tell you who you are. All right, so this is uh, going back to uh, Psalms 80. And it's... Uh, 
Let's see where am I at? Verse 9, maybe? Yeah. Thou preparest room before it, and didst cause it to take a deep root, and it filled the land. The hills were covered with the shadow of it, and the bows thereof were like the goodly cedars. She sent out her bows unto the sea, and her branches unto the river. Why hast thou then broken down her hedges, so that all that which pass by the way do pluck her? So literally everybody, every nation on the planet Earth is, is uh, you know, plucking at Israel, you know, making it, hin trying to hinder Israel. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know. We're the most, you know what I'm saying, like, hated people among these among these heathen you know when you move in their neighborhoods you know you they don't like it uh one of the work guys i work with over here he was he said he was talking to our owner, owners and uh you know the, there's three of them and they were telling him how they they didn't like or that they weren't used to having Mexicans and blacks in their neighborhoods, so-called Mexican blacks in their neighborhood, you know. They don't even want you in their neighborhoods, man. Let's go to uh, 13. It says, oh yeah, 12 says, why has, well, let me go to 13. The boar out of the wood doth waste it, and the wild beast of the field doth devour it. Dealing with these uh, these heathen just devouring our people with every, in, in any way, shape, or form, the heathen constantly try to devour the Israelites. You know. Return, we beseech thee, O Yahweh of hosts. Look down from heaven and behold and visit this vine. See, this is the prayer saying, "Hey, come and come, come and help our help us out. Come and we're praying to Yahweh to." to deliver us man to take us out of this captivity to take us out of slavery but you have two-thirds of our people who don't they don't feel that way man they want to stay here in america they want to pray for america to uh, be great again which it's not going to be great again you know and it really never was great but these devils idea is of being great again is putting you back into slavery which you're already in captivity we're putting you in with the microchip, you know? Want monitoring your every move. And if you don't take a microchip, well, you're gonna be in their FEMA cat, you know? Where we at? Um, 14. Oh no, I'm 15. You know what, I'm gonna go to a precept in Isaiah. 63 and 15 and it says look down from heaven and behold from the habitation of thy holiness and of thy glory where is the zeal and thy strength the sounding of the bowel thy bowels and of thy mercy toward me are they restrained see so all of the prophets you know what I'm saying they knew they were in captivity they knew this wasn't their resting place man they were all praying to Yahweh, saying, you know, um, you know, where's the mercy, you know? You know, because we're in captivity, man. You should not be, you know, content and happy in Babylon, America, right? You should be praying for the destruction of this place so that we can get our true rest, play, true rest, you know, so we can... So we can be in the kingdom, you know, we don't have to worry about our kids dying. You know, we don't have to worry about, you know, anything. Um, let's go to, go back to Psalms 80. And 16. It is burned, oh, I'm sorry, 15. And the vineyard which thy right hand planted and the branch that thou madest strong for thyself, it is burned with fire, it is cut down. 
they perish at the rebuke of thy countenance. So that's what it is. Israel, the nation of Israel has been cut down, you know. So much to the point where the people of who are who are Israelites, they don't know they're Israelites. <laughs> Let thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand, upon the son of man whom thou hast made as strong for thyself. Let the hand be on the man of the right hand. Who is the right hand man? It's the prophets, the men who learned this truth. You know, upon the son of man whom thou made as strong for thyself, Yahweh Shai. See? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakudash, we are learning and getting the understanding of this truth, coming into remembrance of who we are. And that's Yahweh laying his hand upon the right hand of men. You know? Uh, verse 18. So will not we go back from thee, quicken us, and we will cap uh, we will call upon thy name. You know, quicken us, meaning teach us this truth, show us this knowledge. You know, when we hear it, it, it hey, it's a it's a it's a beautiful song for the uh, the elect. You know, we hear it, we're ready to uh, you know, we're ready to hey get gain more knowledge every day. Um, we're gonna call on the name. We know the name, Yahweh. Verse 19, turn us again, O Yahweh, thy power of hosts, cause thy face to shine and we shall be saved. See, turn us again, meaning we, give us, we used to know this knowledge, you know, before we went into slavery, before we went into captivities. We used to know who we were. We used to know the truth. We used to follow the laws. We used to follow the Sabbaths, you know. But that's why it says, turn us again, you know. Turn us again because, hey, we have to come back into remembrance. We have to, we have to repent. We have to go back to who we are, according to the Holy Scriptures, you know. Cause thy face to shine and we shall be saved, you see. We're going to be saved. And that's, that, it said the same thing in verse 3. It's literally the exact same, uh, same verse repeated. It says, turn us again in Psalms 80 and 3. O Yahweh, and cause thy face to shine and we shall be saved. You know, we got to be turned, turned back to this, uh, this truth and this knowledge, given this wisdom. And that's what you're seeing with, with the men of uh, Yahweh out on the street corners, the Israelites. All right, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans out there, you know, pushing this knowledge and also on these videos, all right? But with that, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ha'ra Kakwadash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth. Also, I want to acknowledge all the Akiam for pushing this truth with sincerity, all right? Shalom, may you endure to the end.